One of the most misunderstood principles in weather theory, at least among pilots, is the fact that moist air is less dense than dry air. If you're a ground school member, you've probably had that beaten into you to the point that you've memorized it by now. But so many people just don't understand why this is true. On humid days, we hear people say that the air is so thick you could cut it with a knife. Well, actually, on humid days, the air is relatively thin. And propellers and wings are less efficient in thin, less dense air. In 60 seconds, I'm going to tell you why. In the early 19th century, an Italian physicist named Amadeo Avogadro developed an important scientific law now known as Avogadro's Principle. It states that equal volumes of gases under the same conditions of temperature and pressure will contain equal numbers of molecules. Okay, that's step one. Now let's apply that to the Earth's atmosphere. Our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. The remaining 1% is made up of trace gases. The molecular weight of an oxygen molecule is 32, and the molecular weight of a nitrogen molecule is 28. Now here's the kicker. The molecular weight of water, H2O, is 18. It's measurably less dense than either oxygen or nitrogen. And that brings us back to Avogadro. If we imagine some volume of air, we know it contains a fixed number of molecules. If we introduce water vapor, well, something has to leave that volume to make room. So for every molecule of water vapor that enters the volume, a heavier, more dense molecule of oxygen or nitrogen must leave. As we replace oxygen and nitrogen in the air, the molecular weight of that air parcel is reduced, creating less dense air. Okay, one minute. Boom. That's why moist air is less dense than dry air. If you like the way we delivered this explanation, come take a look at Gold Seal, the Internet's number one ranked online ground school program. Take it out for a spin. Your free test drive is available at uavgroundschool.com.